Ohio State just converted a fourth and seven a few plays ago. They're about to score. Oh, not on this play. Though. They're definitely going to try to hit Marvin Harrison Jr. on that outside portion of the field. 22 seconds, second and 10. McCord looking. Oh, you got to throw the ball, dude. Oh, he's lucky he didn't get sacked, bro. He's so lucky he didn't get sacked. Third and two. They, they just called grounding on McCord because I guess they said the receiver wasn't close enough to be in the area. Uh, yeah, I guess he's in the tackle box. And they're saying Harrison wasn't close enough. He's right in the middle of that tackle box. But, like, Harrison's cutting in, and he's clearly just throwing that out. I think that's fair. All right, they, they had to call a timeout to avoid the 10-second runoff, too. So they're at 15 seconds. They got a long way to go for the first here on third and long. Notre Dame only sending three. No shot. Oh, he's right on the door. They got to get up and spike it. They only got nine seconds. That's an enormous catch. Or do they do they sneak it? Okay, yeah. They spike it with seven seconds. Notre Dame needs a goal line standard. They're about to get beat. Holy cow. I would consider throwing this ball because if you don't get it, if it's like an incomplete pass, you at least have time for another play. Whereas if they run it and don't get it, they don't have any timeouts to stop it. They are throwing it. No, Harrison. Oh, he's out of bounds. They got three seconds. One more play. Oh, my goodness. The game comes down to this. Three seconds. They are going to run it. And he's in. Ohio State walks into Notre Dame and takes them down on the last play of the game. Oh, my goodness. 16 to 14 with zeros on the clock. Oh my goodness. Notre Dame is stunned right now. Dang. What a game, man. What a game. Kyle McCord acting like he's a good quarterback. He's really not. Damn, that's wow. What a game, man. Look, dude, look at that crowd. There's. Stunned. Wow, what an amazing game.